Those high winds prompting PG&E to turn off the power. Safety shutoffs are underway across 13 counties right now, including Calusa, Solano, and Yolo counties. Right now, 230 outages are impacting 14,000 customers. All those outages sitting west of I-5 from Fairfield and north to Shasta Lake. Your reporter covering Solano County, Ashley Sharp. She's in Fairfield tonight for us, where fire crews, Ashley, already busy there. That's right, yeah, and that comes out to about 2,000 customers that PG&E has cut the power for in Solano and Yolo counties. I want to show you behind me, we do have a utility crew that's been out here uh, this evening in Fairfield. You might not be able to see it right now, but within the past half hour and even up to just a couple of minutes ago, this power line behind me has been throwing off sparks. Obviously something that utility workers really want to get under control quickly given these conditions, and that line is adjacent to this field that burned earlier today. Now, the wind Wind, which is really picking up this evening in Fairfield is, of course, going to be that biggest concern overnight and into tomorrow morning. A perfect example Thursday night of the rapid response fire crews are ready for under a red flag warning. A four acre grass fire in Fairfield knocked down within minutes as Solano County is expecting some of the region's highest wind gust overnight. It wouldn't take much, especially with the wind. Susan Lebrex, Fairfield home of more than 20 years, neighbors this dry hillside. The overgrowth gets pretty high, like up to the fence here. This summer, we've had two close calls. A charred hilltop, a reminder of a fire too close for comfort. So what happens is we have to complain to the city, say, hey, come out here, you know, the, the uh, it's overgrowth and it's obviously a fire hazard. With less rain this year, these fuels surrounding Fairfield are especially dry, a perfect recipe for a fast moving fire. If a fire were to start, that, that fire could expand very rapidly. Uh, we have the combination of low humidities, we're going to have very high winds. Jason Clay of Cal Fire LNU tells me crews from across the region are more than ready to respond. The extra staffing, we got extra hand crews ready to go. Our full complement of our aviation uh, assets to us, bulldozers. Um, and then it's not just us, right? So a lot of local government agencies are prepared as well. Fairfield neighbors. We're pretty prepared. I feel like, you know, just grab and go on the watch. We'll be the first ones out. <laughs> and if needed, ready to evacuate. And the message there, better to be overprepared just in case, right? Now, the message for overnight, again, is that those wind gusts are going to continue to be strong into the overnight hours and the morning. So people in Fairfield, it could be possible that you wake up to some wind damage, maybe even some unplanned power outages tomorrow morning. Wow, and we just saw those sparks behind you that right. you were talking about, Ashley. Uh, just speaks to what we're yeah, seeing right exactly. now across the region. All right, be safe. Thanks yeah, so those, much for that. Yeah, those crews have been out here trying to get that under control, so we'll we'll keep tracking that for you. Yeah, yep, yeah there, for sure. there it goes yep, again. So, wow. yep. All right, see it. Ashley live in Solano County. Thanks, Ashley. Some more of these fire dangers that we need to tell you about here, some of the effects. In less than an hour, the city of Fairfield, they'll be closing Rockville Hill Regional Park, Spyglass Hill open space, and the Serpa's Ranch open space because of this danger, those gusty winds that Ashley just talked about. The city says this closure is in effect through Saturday. The parks, though, should be open by Sunday morning.